ready to go have Sunday fun day with my friends. We're going to something, what is it called? Not grits and biscuits. 40s and waffles. It's just like a Sunday day party that they have in LA. So while I was getting ready, I figured that I would film this look because I've been kind of doing this look a lot lately and really loving it. And um, just using my favorite palettes and my favorite thing. So you guys, if you like this look and you want to see how I got it, keep watching. I applied my foundation and contour already. I have a million videos doing that. I started off by taking the shade Matte Evans and putting it in my crease for my first transition colors. Key to achieve this look is really just a lot of blending. Taking Matte Kumar as my second color, I'm just gonna apply that just to add some more depth to this contour. Taking the color Matte Reed just to add some more depth, we're gonna put this brown on top of the burgundy and tan shades we've already used. Now that I've started to achieve the desired look of blending, I'm gonna move on to my Styled by Harouche palette by Tarte. Palette smells really, really good. It smells like chocolate. So I'm taking the color Vamp and I'm just putting it in the crease just to make the transition much smoother. And then I'm gonna take the color Kitty and lay the foundation for the brown on my lid. So I'm just gonna take a brush and just flatly place it all over. Dusting away any fallout before I move on to the next part of my face. To really add to the smokiness, I'm gonna be mixing Matte Reed and Matte Hamid and putting it in my outer V. Now my main focus is just making sure that it blends well with the rest of the transition shades. I just want to make sure they mesh well with my highlight. Going back into the Harouche palette, I'm going to take the color Cheeky and apply that all over my cheeks. Taking my current favorite highlighter at the moment, Ofra and Dupe That Collaboration, You Glow Girl, and applying that all over my cheeks and the high points of my face. Lips with this stone liner, unfortunately, I rubbed off the color, so I can't tell you, but you know, deeper burgundy. And then I'm gonna be filling in my lips with my LA Girl Matte Lip Gloss, and it is in the color Rebel. To create my eyeliner, I'm starting with the LA Girl Gel Liner in the color black. Honestly, it, it's black. I don't know if the shade is called black, but I'm going to do that. I'm going to fill in my bottom lash line, and then I'm also going to tight line. I legit look cross-eyed, but the things we do for beauty ladies, these men just don't even know. So now I'm just smoking up my bottom lash line using my um, pre-shades mainly from this palette, like Kitty and Vamp. I'm gonna dip into the color Smitten and apply that in my tear ducts just to make them pop. I'm taking the color Ahmed, Matte Ahmed, and I'm applying it to the outer V, like the bottom part. I forgot to mention this is the Bomb Meat Matte matrimony palette and I'm just taking the Essence Black um, liquid liner and just giving it more of a straight defined line. Make it easier for me before I apply the glitter and now I'm just coating on some layers of this Laura Geller mascara. Now for my favorite part which is the glitter. This is the Urban Decay Midnight cowboy and it's the glitter eyeliner you guys I do have one suggestion that I forgot to do is make sure you let it dry or it will be on your lid like you saw on mine okay guys this is the finished look if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up we just go pretend like that glitter didn't transfer over if you're not subscribed already go ahead and subscribe thank you so much for watching until then I'll see you in my next video Mwah.